Good morning, Bumblebeezies. Happy Thursday. It is 7.30 right now in the morning. Do you guys remember yesterday when I said that the garbage truck was so loud outside and that I, th I thought he dropped something, it was so loud? That actually wasn't even the garbage truck because today is garbage day. Garbage trucks are coming today. The sound that I kept hearing yesterday was actually just a truck across the street. Um, they're working on the neighbor's backyard. We found, we found out that um, well, we were suspecting that they were building a pool because there was this small truck that kept going to the backyard and then coming out with a bunch of dirt. So he was digging a hole in the backyard. And guess what? There's a truck outside today from Premier Pools. They're getting a pool. I'm so jealous, you guys. Maybe I can become friends with them and ask them if we can go swimming. <laughs> I mean, we talk to them, but we just say like hi and you know stuff like that just friendly Neighborhood talk, but we're not actually like friends, but maybe now I should become friends with them That guy across the street has been working on his house for a while now like I would say like the past two months I don't know if they're getting ready to sell their house or if they're just remodeling it just to remodel it But they've been working on it And their house is really big. I, I think it's probably like five bedrooms it's only 7.30 right now and I was gonna eat breakfast but I think I'm gonna wait until around 8. I'm gonna work on yesterday's video while I kill some time. Tonight I'm gonna be making some chicken enchiladas for the fam. So I took my chicken out of the freezer last night and put it into the refrigerator to defrost it. This was the rotisserie chicken that I bought last week that I shredded just the other half of the chicken. So that's already good to go. And then yesterday they had burgers, so I put the other half of the buns in the freezer so we can use that at a later date. Actually, since I didn't eat a burger last night, the buns are now une uneven. There's five buns left, but it's okay. So for breakfast today, I am having Special K. And I'm going to have half of a banana. So, I have my banana. I'm going to cut it in half. I'm only going to eat half of that. Um, oh, let me put more water in the Keurig first. My magnet collection is growing. I used to love magnets when I was younger. I, I would buy them all the time. And I would buy magnets from Disneyland all the time or just wherever I would visit, like any place I would visit. I would always buy a keychain and a magnet and I that was my addiction. And then, I'm not sure when this happened, but I started hating magnets. I didn't like how they looked on the refrigerator. They just made your refrigerator look so cluttered and dirty and messy. So then I started hating magnets. And so I, would, I stopped buying them for such a long time. And now... I'm like getting back into magnets again, so I think I'm gonna start collecting magnets again, but probably, they're probably mostly gonna be Disney magnets or, you know, the places that we visit, I, I will pick up like one or two magnets wherever we go. Anyways, I'm gonna make my coffee now, and for today's mug, I'm gonna go for another Starbucks mug. Let's go for this Epcot one. My friend Lainey also sent this one to me. I don't know if I used this one yet. I might have. I don't know. But here's what it looks like. And then it's the same, like, this same shade of purple on the inside, like lavender. I don't want any more You Are Here mugs, actually. I, I only have space for two more mugs. So I'm probably going to fill those two spots with the LA and the California mug. Um, but I was also thinking I really want one from the Philippines, from Manila. I just, if I go there, I'll get one for sure. But if I don't, it's okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have any more room for the Starbucks mugs because I don't want them to take up more than one shelf. So I only have space for two more. And I definitely have to get a California mug and an LA mug. I have another meeting next week, you guys. I have to go back to the office. It's an all-team meeting, so it's like everybody meets together and we do like team building, we play games, and then they do talk about some of the important stuff. So we just, we only do those meetings um, like every quarter, once a quarter. 
Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, yesterday I bought tickets for Black Panther, so we're gonna be watching Black Panther this Sunday. Ariel has a day off, so we're gonna go watch that. I'm so excited. I've been trying to avoid any spoilers. I'm so excited. If you guys didn't know, we are huge Marvel fans, so we're super excited. So my internet just went out. I went on to the Xfinity app for Comcast, it does say that there is an outage, so I really hope they can get it back up quickly because I have to work, you guys. I'm working right now. So we have been test driving this car for the past week, care of Toyota USA, and this is the 2017 Toyota Corolla 50th Anniversary Edition. So I'm gonna show you guys around the car. So this car does have a keyless entry, so I can just walk up to the car and it'll unlock. The interior is really nice, it's all black, and then it has this trim right here, same color as the outside of the car, so pretty. I love the little details like that. And the stitching here, it's so nice. It does say Corolla right here, and this actually lights up at night, so I thought that was pretty cool. This car is push to start. This is a touchscreen display right here and you have all of your options here on the side. It does have a backup camera and it's a nice size screen, it's not too small. Here on, under the apps section you can see all of the options that you have. You do have GPS, I didn't connect my phone to the car but you do need to connect your phone to use the GPS. So right here you have your climate center and I really like how simple and easy it is to use. You have your options right here, temperature, you can just push it up or down and then you know it's really easy to use. This car also has a sunroof. Down here you have a 12 volt charger, a USB, an audio port right back there and then here you have your driving options. If you want to drive in sport mode you just push that. You have some cup holders. You have a compartment in the middle. Both of the doors also have cup holders, so you have some extra ones there. The seat does raise up, which is a nice feature if you're, you know, like me, not that tall, so we uh, were able to raise the seat up. So here's a look at the back. You do have a center armrest with two cup holders, and then you also have a compartment down here with more cup holders. So this car has a lot of cup holders, you guys, even on the doors back here. So here's a look at the trunk space. It's a really good size, actually. And you can see right there that you can actually fold the seats down. Here's a better look at the front of the car. I really like how it looks from the front. I really like that grille. It gives it a really sporty look, and it looks very sleek. I really enjoyed driving this car. It was really easy to drive. We all fit in here very comfortably. So thank you again to Toyota USA for allowing us to test drive this car. All right guys, internet is back up. It was only down for 15 minutes. You guys, it just started raining out of nowhere. I can see the sun peeking through over there though. It probably won't even rain that long. I called it five minutes, the rain is done. <laughs> it's still sprinkling, but earlier it was raining pretty hard. Yeah. And now the sun is already peeking through. You can see it down there. Well, I don't know. Oh, you can see it down there. Yeah. Going to work now? Yeah. Okay, bye. bye. Have a good day. Okay. So I'm making chicken enchiladas for dinner. I have my mixture right here. I mix this can of chicken and cheese enchilada soup with red enchilada sauce. I mix that together and I mix that with some of the chicken and some cheese. So there's cheese and chicken inside with a little bit of the sauce. And then I pour the sauce on top with the cheese. I did make a recipe video on it and I'll leave it linked in case you guys wanna see it. All right, so here's what it looks like before it goes into the oven. I'm just gonna bake this at 350 for about 30 minutes. The enchiladas are done. This is what it looks like right out of the oven. I literally just took it out. It smells so good, you guys. This is a super rare occasion. I'm wearing real pants and real shoes. 
Um, comment down below if you if you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, we're here at Toys R Us. Do you see anything new today, AJ? Uh, no, not really. No? Interesting. That's interesting. I don't know who that is. Goldar? Goldar. Oh, Goldar. I thought that was a C. Uh. I was like, that's a weird name. You should just call it Goldar because he's gold. <laughs> now we're at Target. I need to find a birthday card for my grandpa who's turning 90 years old. I was, I was thinking of getting him this card, the 90, but I feel like everyone's going to get him the same card because there's only one option for the 90. Oh, we should have went to Hallmark. There's Har Hallmark next door. But this Mickey one is super cute too. I think well, we should get this one. This one's really cute. What a great line. What do you think? That one? So my grandpa's having a birthday party on Saturday because he's turning 90 years old. And I really wanted to go, but I got the invitation super last minute and I'm not going to be able to go. They live up in Eureka. So it's like almost a six hour drive from where we live. But I'm just going to send him a card. So we're back home from Target. Vanessa got a new dress for the cruise. Uh, just a plain, just a simple black, like a black swing dress. And it has this cute like uh, cross right here, like an X. Like thin straps that go that make the shape of an X. And I'm going to wear a black dress also, just like a sundress. And then the boys are wearing their black shirts with the flowers on it. So we're all wearing black. It's funny, I just noticed because last time when we took our family photos, we were all wearing white. Well, like white and khaki. And this time we're all wearing black. <laughs> so not too much color this time. But I don't know what our bottoms are going to be. I don't want it to be... Well, I'm wearing a dress. And so is Vanessa. Maybe the boys will wear khaki at the bottom. I don't know. I don't know what, they, what they're what they wearing on the bottom. So, yeah, that's the plan. We're all going to be wearing black. Hello, everyone. It's me. It's now time to sleep. It's now late, and we're going to go to sleep. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.